Praise the Lord, precious saints, and welcome to another daily prophetic utterance to start your day. The Lord is saying today, I am the God of the impossible, making all things possible to those who believe. I know the exact timing of your life, my child. I know the reason for your pain, and I understand the suffering that you have endured. I will bless you with patience, love, and freedom to handle all that is coming your way. Your job is to hold the faith and not let it run thin within your life. My hand is on your life, my child, and there is a reason for everything that is happening in your life right now. I don't expect you to know how you are going to get through. I simply bless you with the chance to work hard in the direction that you know that is best for now, and I will take care of the rest. For I will always meet my end of the bargain in directing your steps. If it doesn't feel like it's over, it is not, and I want you to keep pushing in prayer. I know you are battling with issues and you keep on seeing others getting favored and being blessed and you ponder at times, Lord, when is my blessing coming? I have heard your petitions and as long as you remain faithful to me in righteousness and seek first my kingdom, then everything shall be added to you. I have heard your cries. Even during this mountain moving prayer, I have not overlooked you. Rather, the time was not right for you to contain what I am doing with you within this next hour. I will turn around for you all that is needed to be rearranged within your life and everything is going to be okay in the end for my plans are always perfect. You are going to make it, my child. You feel you've been in a down season, but it doesn't mean that nothing is happening. No, it simply means I am preparing you for something greater that is coming ahead of you. I'm about to promote you. I'm about to give you an opportunity you've never had. I'm opening doors for you and I am going to take you from the bottom to the top. That's right. I am the God who will exalt one and pull down another. For promotion does not come from the east or the south or the west, but it comes from me. My child, whatever has been stolen from you is coming back home. Your days of being without are over. Anything that is harassing you or hindering your life is being removed. Yes, I am the mountain moving God and I have given you mountain moving faith. That's right. I have told you that if you have faith as small as a mustard seed, you shall move mountains. I have dealt with all of your needs this day. And now I'm dealing with your heart's desires. While you are waiting, I am in the background preparing things, my child. Sometimes you are in a season of waiting because your blessing is being prepared on the other side. Waiting patiently because I am ordering your steps. For have I not said in my word that the steps of a good man are ordered by me and I delight in your way? You are waiting and I am working. That's right. I am working, my child. When you must wait for things, you will cherish and appreciate them more. For they that wait upon me shall renew their strength. When you arrive at that place that I have ordered for you, that's right. You are going to need certain strength you don't have right now. Do not be weary in well-doing, for your reward is coming. Remember, I am looking after you, even when it seems like you're all alone. I have promised to never leave nor forsake you. So have faith and believe that I am working hard behind the scenes of your life and that those that you are praying for, I am also working behind the scenes within their life. What seems like a wall is really a staircase to take you to the next level that I have 
plan for you. Your mountains and obstacles are just opportunities to force you to go higher. Today is the mark of a new beginning in the chapter of your life. And I don't want you to overlook the importance of what I want you to achieve within your lifetime. Remember, many are called, but only few are chosen by me. I am calling you to a deeper intimacy with me that I may use you for my glory within this end time hour. Yes, I desire for you to be revived by me, that you may be a catalyst to spark revival wherever your feet traverse this earth. I am calling you to believe in greater things, my child, and believe in the impossible, making all things possible. For surely I am the miracle working God that is wanting to reach out to all that desire to know their creator. By my hands and feet, I will send you. That's right. I will even use your hands and feet to traverse this earth, to traverse the nations, to go to the cities, to go to the workplaces, to go to the schools, to go to your families, to reach all with my love. I am calling you as I pour out my spirit upon all flesh in this hour, that you may be ignited and on fire and baptized in my spirit and on fire within this hour to reach all with my love. Remember, perfect love casts out all fear. Whatever you're fearing today, release it to me. Surrender your burdens. I am taking care. I am moving in this hour. Shalom. Praise the Lord, precious saints. The Bible says, according to Romans 4, verse 18, Even when there was no reason for hope, Abraham kept hoping, believing that he would become the father of many nations. For God had said to him, That's how many descendants you will have. See, hope is needed when the fulfillment of a promise doesn't happen instantaneously within your life. In today's world, meals are cooked within minutes and whole conversations happen within the exchange of just a few text messages. It's hard to believe to have faith to wait and hope for the answer when something isn't done instantly and conveniently. People aren't used to having to wait, but waiting is something that God expects you to do even very well. Abraham's promise took several decades to come to pass. That's why the scripture for today says that even when there was no reason to hope, he kept hoping. We all hope for God and do many things in our lives, but to see the fruit of our patience, we must believe that God will do what he says. Unfortunately, many people do not wait. They cannot wait for God because he doesn't work within their timing. But you've got to learn to keep your life full of faith. See, all things are possible when you rely on God. What are you hoping will happen within your life at this time? What things has God promised you that are impossible without the hope in the one who made the promise. That's right. He is making all things possible. Send, spend some time with the Lord today and ask him and tell him how much you need him, that you trust him and that he can fulfill the promises even if they don't come instantly within your timing. Are you willing to wait? God wants to do something great in your life, but he's asking you to wait upon him. The Bible says they that wait upon the Lord will renew their strength. They will raise up with wings like eagles. They shall run and not grow weary. They shall walk and not faint. It's interesting to see that in the spiritual, we fly before we run. In the natural, we crawl 
before we walk. We walk before we run, isn't it? So in the spiritual, God wants you to dwell in high places. When you learn to wait upon him, it's like having your 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 phone charged. It has to sit and wait for an hour. And a lot of people don't want to wait even for their phone to charge within that one hour. But God wants us to learn to wait upon him tarry in his presence wait for his timing that is perfect he will open up supernatural doors for you if you just learn to wait. Wait for the promise. Whatever God has promised upon you, when you take hold of these prophetic utterances and you say, God, I'm believing it, even when I'm not seeing it, God will make a way where there seems no way. That's why he says many are called, but few are chosen. No one wants to wait anymore. No one wants to wait for God's perfect plan. No one wants God to redirect their steps. But I encourage you today. Heavenly Father, we thank you in the mighty name of our Lord Jesus Christ. I thank you for each person, Lord, that has partaken of this mountain moving faith. And those that are listening for the first time, Lord, you are faithful in all things. Your promises endure forever. And there is no limit to your miracles. In your hands, all things are possible. You are the one who conquered death. Yes, Jesus, and made a place for us in heaven. May we never cease to sing your praise. We trust you today and we know that you are moving mountains. You're the God of the impossible, making all things possible. Heavenly Father, whatever that impossible situation is, whatever that a hindrance it is, whether it's marriage restoration, whether it's even finding a lifetime partner, whatever that is, whatever the financial problem is, whatever the medical doctors have said, God is a God that still heals today. Whatever that oppression is, God will deliver you today. You just got to trust Him. You just got to believe Him. No matter what is happening, no matter what is on the television, whatever the media is telling you, trust in God. God has all things under control. Heavenly Father, we thank you that you will bless each person with a double portion of your blessing. You're going to do something today. You're going to open doors that have never thought to be possible because people trusted in you. They waited upon the promises of God and the promises of your prophetic utterance. Lord, bless each person today. You are faithful and you are directing our steps in Jesus mighty name we pray. This is Pastor Robert Clancy from Narrowpath Ministries in Perth, Western Australia. It is time to catch the fire of repentance revival as we prepare for the coming of our Lord Jesus Christ. Shalom, shalom, shalom. And if you've been blessed by this utterance, we encourage you, if you haven't already, you may subscribe to our YouTube channel. You can follow us on uh, on Instagram and also Facebook. You can find those details also in the description area of each of the YouTube um, uploads that we do. So be blessed today and especially those that partook of this three-day fasting. It's been such a blessing. I've been praying for each and every person from the prayer mountain, but it's now back with the family. So from my family to yours, shalom, shalom, shalom.